So you might be thinking, you still have like a billion other things to learn in this your programming career. And sometimes, or most of the time, you probably feel you're learning a little bit slow, that you're learning it slow because uh, you think you should have probably done about 20 lessons and you're probably stuck at lesson number seven. And you're thinking, what app can I build after this? What can I really do with all this programming stuff I'm learning? Well, let me answer a little bit of that question. Hopefully, it sheds some light on uh, on it for you. Now, most of the apps folks built uh, after they've learned all the fundamentals of programming, and even in the process of learning those fundamentals of programming for your programming language of choice, would be to write a to-do application. That is the most popular thing you write. Now, what are the components of a to-do application? You have your to-do, of course. And then this to-do has the status of completed or not. And another thing you could add is the due date for this to-do. And probably another thing you could add is uh, the completed date. So probably you want to see a list of your completed to-do lists. And probably you might also want to add comments to this to-do application that you're writing. So that's one of the apps you could build, a to-do application. That's one. Another app you could think of building, and this is some of the exercises I give the students that I teach one-on-one, uh, -on -one, is you could, have a, you could have a tip calculator app that calculates tip. Another sort of app you could write is to have an app that um, that simulates a banking application. Now, it doesn't have to be a real banking application, of course. So, things you could see like uh, show my balance, um, withdraw a particular amount of money, print statement from this day to this date, simulate a transaction on and on like that so the thing is you have to start thinking about problems in your environment things you use every day apps you use every day try to think of how you can probably create something like that for example i mostly use after that deal with money don't ask me why uh so most of the things that will come to my mind are things that have to do with money tip calculator money calculator Exchange rate calculator, that's another kind of app you can do. FX rate calculator, FX rate converter. The sky is just the limit of the thought of the kind of apps you could build. So converting from USD to pounds, pounds to naira, naira to yen, all these things. Think of how these things operate at the back. Think of how they operate uh from the services you use, Bing Money, Google uh, Converter, and all that. Think of how they work and then try to simulate that in the apps that you build. And that is just where I'll stop today. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you'd like me to make some more videos or you have specific questions about learning how to code, please put them in the comment section below. Also, try to subscribe so you get notified when I post new videos up on this channel. Till I come your way again with another video on your 100 days of code. Stay Devi. See ya.